Hello all. Let's install Fedora Rawhide. So today we are going to try out a different version of Fedora which is called Silver Blue. So it's basically an immutable OS with uh, a different way of uh, handling the base of your Linux system. So back then I just chose uh, the keyboard layout here I can choose uh, installation partition for this one I'm just using this 20 GB virtual drive and can use that so had something in the drive so I had to reclaim the space here I can configure my time zone and here you have your keyboard layout and your language support that's pretty much it with uh, Fedora Silver Blue so this is an immutable OS which is also suitable for rapid deployments. So whatever you do, you don't make modifications to the base image of your Linux distribution while uh, it's running. And the most important part is uh, you don't have DNF. So I will show you all those things once the installation have been completed. So this is going to take some time. So I'll be back when it's done. So the installation process have been completed. That took quite a bit longer than usual Fedora installation. So let's reboot the system. So immediately after rebooting, we are seeing a welcome screen. Welcome to Fedora Linux 36. So this is like uh, a basic GNOME setup is it? You can click start setup. You can enable or disable location services according to your liking. Then you can add your online accounts here if you want. Click skip for me. I'm not going to use any. So here you create your username. If you have uh, enterprise logins, you can use that over here. So click next. Then create your password and type it twice and it will show you whether you are using a weak password or not but for my case it doesn't matter because I'm using this on a virtual machine so it's telling me it's all done so it's asking whether we need to take the gnome 41 desktop too no thanks so this is a fairly minimal install we don't have pretty much so many stuff over here so if I open up the terminal you can see like if I increase the font size you can see welcome to Fedora Silver Blue so let me switch to full screen I think you can view that properly so if I do a df-h I can see how much disk space is being used so immediately you can see home partition is mounted under slash var and slash home. It's not slash home. So if I do a pwd over here I can see my home partition is something somewhat like this. Then you don't see a root partition for this case. Instead you have partitions like this usually on a Linux system or even on regular Fedora you will see a root file system like a slash instead here you have a slash sysroot and all these things so Fedora Silver Blue manages packages differently it uses something like the base image of the system is an image which will be pushed by the developers so you can install some packages using the package uh, tool like if you try dnf it's not going to work so if i do a sudo dnf update or something it's not going to work because dnf is not available for silver blue instead you use the package manager called rpm os3 so if i do rpm dash os3 date or something it's going to 
run the updates so currently a transaction is being in progress so this is going to take some time so let's exit out of this so if I open up the settings you can see if I go to about section you can see this is Fedora Silver Blue Rawhide Edition and you can see it's GNOME 41 bit desktop and basically you install packages inside this in two ways you can either use rpm os3 which will layer your new application above the os image but if you need to use that you need to reboot your system you have flat packs basically so you have uh, gnome software center over here the thing with current flat pack setup over here is it's only using fedora's flat pack repos you don't have flat hub enabled so if you want to enable flat hub in this system you go to your firefox or yeah firefox is available by default so you open that up and just search flat hub so inside the flat hub home page you have uh, Qt setup if you click that it will open up uh, something which in which you can choose your current distribution so I'm going to click Fedora for this one and it will give me like how I can add the command will be available for me to add flat hub repos so I can minimize or close out of this I can go here and I can add this and this will add the flat hub repos if i enter my password it requires super user privileges so the way you install packages in this one is using rpm dash os3 and install for example we can use vim this will ask for vim in rpm os3 repositories and if it's available it will download and install but the problem with this system is you need to reboot if you need to use your install package or else it will not be available so what this does is this put a layer of which application you have installed on the top of base image of your operating system so if you need to access that layer you need to reboot your system so gnome is gnome software is doing all these things so i can do a restart and update if i want so what this will do is this will apply the changes to the image of the system and it will reboot so we'll let it run there and another important feature of fedora silo blue is if you need to have something persistent if you are like a developer or something you can use uh, the toolbox so toolbox is uh, like a virtual image like a container so you can use toolbox create and you can specify the container name so like for example i can use development e development env for development environment like you can this name doesn't matter you can use anything much so let's use null for this case so what this will do is this will download a container image for fedora and inside that you can use dnf and all the other stuff that's up to you so i'm not going to do that so this is basically the way you can install packages so let's search something over here maybe vim I don't know whether Vim is available as a flat pack. Just click install and it will install Vim for you. So basically that's how you install packages in Fedora Silver Blue. So I hope this one was helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day.